MCK Media, connecting you with digital life. Welcome to MCK Media. With MCK Media, we bring to you updates on education, agriculture, health, and many more in the Republic of South Sudan. This week on MCK Media.
we will give chance. Um, I, I think one of the slides that you told to you by the Secretary General before we came in. Uh, the leaders of our teams that came here, each of them will say something, great. And then the board will be shown to you. Tomorrow, we will want to meet some identified leaders from our religious groups. We also want to see what they have view about this. And also the unit, speed unit, the head of each unit of the organized past. So that we also have their input. They will know better than somebody who is just staying in his village or in his house. So also, so that we all this packet, we will, uh, we will call our uh, mission here to go uh, as uh, enough. Then we will seek to go to other places also in Greater Tongue and conduct exactly the same scenario, including people. Uh, and when we say, uh, please, our youth here is so piety, then, of course, the youth say, no, let those people stop fighting first. <laughs> but, but do you know logically, those of people are more or less on the run. I know some have come as a uh, United, right? but the majority, this is the reality, the majority are on the run. So they must first stop also sending people to the red. And then as that one is happening, they, they promise us, we also at the same time promise you not to continue to chase them to the end of the world. Because if you are chasing me, I'm chasing the red. Do I ask the red to stop? Or the cat to stop? I think it is the cat to stop, then the red will definitely stop. So, really, uh, we come here to listen to this consultative uh, meeting open. So the meeting is open. On behalf of World County, advanced team, of high level committee to address the young race state and greater people administrative area security situation. I am pleased to welcome you to Go Town for this critical consultation with your people of Greater Board. For the last week we have been here with the people of Bor County. We have carried out a series of meetings with the community elders and leaders, traditional authorities, youth leaders, and women representatives on how best the ongoing uh, violence in Jamalai State and Greater Tibor administrative area to be addressed. I am happy to report to Your Excellency and the accompanying delegation that the people of Bor County in particular and Greater Bor in general need peace and uh, to prevail in Yongle State and the Bor administrative area. <laughs> the, the effects of the ongoing violence in the state are visible here in Bor Town. A lot of people have been displaced from their villages and are currently camping in schools and other open grounds in the town. And these people are depending on limited handouts from well wishes in town. It is a rainy season and these displaced people 
are exposed to diseases, hunger, and malnutrition for the children. The people of all counties, particularly uh, the community elders and leaders, as well as the traditional authorities, have agreed in principle to the call for the disengagement of use in current areas of confrontation and for them to withdraw back to their tribal territorial borders, hence allowing the evacuation of the wounded and the sick. The same commitment we receive from community elders will still be reiterated in front of your Excellency in this meeting when the chance comes. I would like to further reiterate that the High Level Committee to address the state, the Jongle State and Greater Tibor Administrative Area Security Station Advanced Team for both SARS, V East and Blue Counties take seriously the noble task of bringing peace to the communities of Jongle State who have never known peace since 1983. We, we hope with your efforts, Your Excellency, peace will finally prevail in Jongle State and Greater Timor Administrative Area. I listened to the discussions of all the different groups while I was here, and all of them emphasized that, and I quote, if the Murale accept to stop atrocities and remains in, within its territorial borders, Jongle and Greater Pibor Administrative Area will be the most peaceful region in South Sudan. Without going further, Your Excellency, I would like to limit my welcoming speech to a few minutes so that you and the accompanying delegation can have enough time to listen from the community's representatives. As I was leading the delegation to the Duke Padier community, but I only going to pick a number of uh, issues and the procedures that we have taken and the direction it pointed us. We did not go to Duke, but Jongle here is the headquarters of uh, the former, the defunct Jongle states, and therefore the organizations of the various communities are based here, and the communities are based here. So we were able to combine our delegation with uh, people from board here, but then we also uh, consulted the communities of Duke, but yet as they are found here uh, practicing various uh, professions. Uh, everybody, as we started our meeting, everybody was pointed to what happened, I mean as a point of reminder. We know that between January to June 2020, there were two organized attacks, you know, and counter-attacks between the Dinka North on one hand and the Murle on the other. And that led to major, major losses. Then, the same period, we had 35, 35 conflict incidences, including highway ambushes, robberies, cattle theft, target killing, uh, resulting in loss of many lives, abduction of many children and women huge displacement of people, loss of sources of livelihood, and destruction uh, of shelters. This is 
really a, a thing that we, when we sat and consulted, we thought that was really a, the, 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 the basis of what we are going to talk about. But actually, we are aware of that what uh, prompted the His Excellency the President to form the committee, the high-level committee, was just the reason, the reason uh, attack that happened within the second week of June, uh, where uh, first of all it started with uh, the youth from Law and from Borinka uh, going for a revenge attack, and this one was swiftly, swiftly reciprocated uh, by the Mughlet, and they carried a series of attacks along uh, this line, starting from Baleao, uh, then Bainagur, then Duk, and then Pagak, and then Patwet, and then Dukadir, and then Pajut. Uh, Immediately, immediately. So there is a concurrent. What I want to say is that those who were doing these attacks are not the Murle coming down there. They are the Murle who inhabit the territory of the Dinka and the Nuer, and they just stay there. They live there in the forest and, and the bush. And they are very difficult conditions, but they are there. And they, they, that's where they carry out the bush. So, why something is happening there, they are doing the, new, the usual thing. This is what they do every year. The attack is just happened this year, for example. So, this, this is the situation, and this is the situation that prompted the President uh, order. When we sat with our people, uh, we wanted to really uh, redirect the way of looking at it. Uh, I started by giving something like food for thought, which was given by his lordship here. I gave my uh, gathering the example of Europe, and I told them that uh, in Europe, one country was able to start two wars, two very big wars, and they call them uh, World War War. And that country, uh, when people start set to consider after the war what is to be done, uh, one of the European countries objected that it does not want to sit together with Germany. I will not want to see Germany sitting here. That was what that country was saying. And some uh, persons from different countries said, do you imagine Europe in which Germany does not exist? And of course the question, the answer was no. So I told them, I told the government that it does not need the president to just say Murle is part of Sudan, South Sudan, and there can be no Murle, there cannot be no South Sudan without Murle. So I asked them to just think along those lines. And the first person talked said, man, you are very ambitious. How do you think that we can do things the way the Europeans are doing it? But in a way, in another way, they, they start doing it, actually. They start with identifying the root causes, and then they move to the manifestation of conflict, as you will see, and then they move to, uh, you know, effects and causes, and then they review the different uh, ways, uh, different approaches that have been used by the government and also the other organizations, how to solve the conflict. And they came out with their own, with their own package of uh, response, uh, long, uh, short term, long term, uh, uh, medium and long term response. So the the, the, the presentation that we, 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 we've made is that we are coming up with a solid proposal, a strategic proposal that we think is going to involve 
both the Mur, the Dinka, the Murla, and the developmental project that is going to occupy them and in, in fact will uh, turn them away from uh, occupying, uh, 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 doing these things. One thing that has been a very major uh, deviation is the definition of conflict itself. People have been saying, oh, this conflict is, is about, uh, you know, it's the, the, the root cause of conflict is abduction of children, the root cause of conflict is ambushing, the root. No, we ask ourselves, why would someone come and abduct children? Why would someone come and abduct children? If you have answer, that answer is the cause. Why someone comes and raids your cattle in your own home? If you have an answer, that is the cause of the conflict. It's not the cattle raiding, it's not the abduction of children, it's not the trafficking of women. That is, that is the fault, that's what you are seeing. But why is someone doing this? Most of the people who have been talking, uh, what we have been doing the side, they say it is tradition. Today is another great day, second to the last, where we welcome the delegation. Yesterday, Your Excellency Yemen Duanega, your visit to Jamula Estate with the high level committee has contributed to the change of attitude about the conflict and we, the members of the high level committee who are in the advanced team, are relieved and we highly appreciate the visit. Uh, your Excellency, when I arrived with the team to Pajagur, we have gone through debate and dialogue about the mission, but we briefly brought home the message of our President, His Excellency Sanfakir Mayadi, that the message is a strong war and call your son to come back from boom administration. We had a lot of tough discussion and debate with the members of the traditional authority, the chief, the youth representative and the women, and their findings are compiled by the committee. We came here to board and we interacted with the members of the community that are here in board. And we were reminded that we are at a certain stage of the conflict. We were reminded by one of the educated uh, son of this state that the conflict are theories. We were reminded of theories of conflict. And one of these theories of conflict is that the conflict have fermented, fermented state, it has management state, and it has conflict resolution state. And we are in the middle. We are at the conflict management state because we have not, we have not succeeded to prevent it. So the conflict is state where we are in is at the management state, which is very complex. Now, as we deal with 90% non-educated people, some of the people do not even know why we came. Some thought we, we just jump into the plane. Are we volunteer to come and, uh, and try to address the issue? Some were even saying this is a foreign or a white man mission. But we told them the message of the president is clear. And we are part of the, the high level committee. Now, the situation where we are in, as you mentioned before, as leaders and people who are to solve the conflict that has reached the violent stage, 
there is a lot of suspicion, there is a lot of bitterness, and people do not believe that the government is serious to address the conflict. And your coming has proved to them that the government is serious to address this conflict. As you proved yesterday in Bo Town, your visit has cleared the mind of the people and we are now focusing on how best the conflict can be resolved. In Pajagor, after a long discussion, and I will not go to the, to the root causes, the chiefs reached into a consensus and they wrote this that they were willing to sign if your excellency have uh, contacted the other side in people in the central area. And since none of the chief will read it, let me read it and I will still hand it to you. This is a community of three East County chiefs, elders, youth leaders, and women representatives. In response to the message of His Excellency General Santo Kimayadi, President of the Republic of South Sudan, to stop the ongoing conflict in Yongole State and Greater People Administrative Area. One, the first consultative meeting to address the security situation in Yongole State and Greater People Administrative Area was held from the 8th to the 10th of July at the Paramount Chief Court premises in Panyabur, three East. Second, the ship, elders, women, and youth congratulate the President, His Excellency General Saka Kimayadi, for his annual release of the Republican Order number 2020 and the appointment of Vice President, His Excellency Vigil Wanega, as the chairperson of the High Level Committee to address the conflict situation in Jambule and Pibul. Three, SHIP also welcome and support the presidential call for urgent cessation of hostilities. And they said the SHIP we adhere to the call and will establish communication with the youth fighting in Murray territory to stop the insurgency and return back. Meanwhile, the other side of Murle had to respond the same way and reciprocate as well. For the chief, youth, women and women representatives request the government and the high level committee to organize the upcoming conference in Pibol, Malakal, or Gadiam as soon as possible. That is the suggestion of the chief and call for an urgent de deployment of government forces at the creative buffer zone at a date or in a date at the equivalent, which is called the beach on the other side of the now. Five, six, the ship demanded urgent intervention and supply of relief and humanitarian assistance. When we know who got a lena, the Dupa Yen, Yamsi Bokta, Yamsi Padu, Yamsi Dupa Yen. The Hindu group with other Mosre, Lena Mawson, the Manata did. But Lena, Itama, Mada, we were community with other Dupa Yen, the Madina Boy of Ignata. I will wish you a good day to pay you well. Oh, more than the wish you a lot to do. I make a hands with a look at us. My wish you a say, look at a look at us. Let a wish you a debacle, grief, but a woman to win. One little bit to raise a two warrior. I shall not even give you one yaga. I shall never ask a day. I shall never ask a day. Well, I think 
ሁሉራሁ በሰላም ማፈ ተወረፈ ከሰላም ናፍ ተቀበየን ናፍ ተሰላም ምን በደያ ናፍ ተሰላም ከሰላም ከቦት ለነላው ነው ወጆው ላይ ለካን በያተ ዱፈየ ፋሊነ በደቁ ሬዘቱ ሙሪያ አሻን ደረሰ ከተልሙሽለ ከተልሙሬ ማየራኑ ለሙሽለ ደሮ ደረሰ ወደሎ ሐል ይስ ማይኩል ኢጅማል ላንፊ ሞተበል አበለከቲ አዋለት ዛፋጀ ሞተበ አዋለት ዛፋጀ ኢንተፋ አታሪ ከሙሪያ ካሉ ጀማጣ ወአት ነብይ ተፋቂያ ዲኒ ለኪነ ሐልም አስለ አንዲና ምን ተመኒ ያለ ለኛ በታለ ዲቶሩ አሊ ይጋ የኩል አከር ለኛ ወአከር ለለ ሰላም በነፊት ለለ ፕሬዝ ኦፍ ዘ ሃይ ሌቨል ኮሚቲ ዴቲ ዘን ጀንደሩ ኦል ፕሮቶኮል ዶ ዘ ኦል ዘ ሙርሌስ ሲንስ ዘ ቢጊኒንግ ኦፍ ዲስ ይ አሎን 2020 have killed 127 people wounded and maimed 123 others abducted four children robbed 23331 heads of cattle and set up lead number of uh, of shelters and for the anthropo conflict by the go inca that continued for successive 200 years when i say 200 years because the first incident took place in 1820 1820 uh, where they killed uh, 28 people in a nyeti 28 people that's a historical thing and we have been receiving it from our uh, uh, elders who have passed on and all this uh, and for the anthropo conflict by the gold inca that continues for successive 200 years since the matter of 28 people in Anyeji in, in 1820 and the continued atrocities on the people of Go County that culminated into the cumulative uh, loss of over 30,000 uh, lives, over 350 children abducted, hundreds of thousands of cattle robbed, many other people maimed and wounded, and hundreds of shelters set up there. There are no contact areas. These are the facts that should be known. There are no contact areas where the two communities share the scarce resources of water and pastures during the dry season. You know, the Maseria now when they come to to northern or to Pan, I mean to northern and uh, Bahar Ghazal to Abia, they come during the dry season to come and graze. And this is where the conflict happened. We don't have this with the Mullahs. Our uh, grazing area is on the river bank, and they come and we don't have, we don't go to the east side to go and meet with them. So there are no contact areas where the dinkas and the mullahs can meet. And to the fact that the dinkas, and to the fact that the dinkas never and never migrated to people in search of water and pastures during the long history of neighborhood, it never happened that we might migrate there. Five, interaction of socio-economic development with the migration of the rural population in the town. Many facilities have been abandoned and have uh, abandoned and have turned into shelters for birds and the Madhuri Murle criminals. If you go now, there are over 20 schools which are abandoned, uh, 14 primary health care centers and units, and over 200 water systems. and more homes are abandoned. Six, unnecessary creation of political uh, tension. As the saying goes, much crying little wool mullet while raging others continue to cry loudly about injustice done to them. In the state, they are the ones uh, harming others. And no better evidence than their raging on more than 13 neighbor, neighbors and even on a neighboring country like Ethiopia. When people are in session was established, it was to enhance development in people. Uh, instead of exploiting that golden opportunity to concentrate on developing themselves, they intensified the development of their criminality and hostility on their neighbors. <laughs> the way forward. 
throughout, we have been, the Moonlight have been studying here in uh, the way forward, because they are our brothers, we think that, uh, and we are better off, poor, and the greater poor is better off than them, we also want them to develop, such that if they are developed, they may forget these hostilities and all this. Dispersal, uh, number one, dispersal of opera fraction into different SS PDF divisions in the country. As the army, as the army international one. The building of cobra is started as the mosquito cycle that passes from egg to larva, pupa, and other. That's exactly what happened. Cobra is started as an age set. That is of course people is ruled by use, no, not the really, not, not the chief, not the ministers, not whatever. Uh, then he got into Khartoum and militia led by Ismail Kony and later when Yao Yao rebelled, they converted the hardcore criminals on the standby, because they are there on the standby, and converted them into a new name of Cobra faction to fight the government of South Sudan as they fought the SPLM and SPLA before, uh, before. Of course, they were fighting the SPLA. Those who died on the side of God are more similar times. Uh, possibly, when a new higher leader, criminal, comes up, he will change them to something else. Number two, deployment of security forces at possible areas of contact. Uh, to act as the buffer zone, and was mentioned by uh, some of my brothers here. Uh, three, government to initiate developmental projects in people in the fields of uh, health education uh, with a special emphasis on uh, boarding schools uh, and water by using heavy drilling rigs that can reach the deep water levels. It is difficult in people to, deep, to get water. So you need heavy uh, rig that will go deeper to go to pass through the three layers of water so that it goes to the permanent one. Who wants them to get water? They are our brothers. Uh, and then also to excavate many water reservoirs in different parts of the administrative area for the drinking of livestock. Three, uh, four, preparation for a comprehensive peace conference. And that was mentioned by His Excellency yesterday when he was talking. It was a good thing. And if you, are, if you don't mind, let me put it the way I am putting it. Because when His Excellency talked about it already, I had this document. Uh, I put it this way. That there should be three conferences. One for the youth, one for the, the elderly and, uh, and, and elite. In the first place, I would like to welcome the high-level committee to address the communal conflict John Lester, which is something paramount in the South Dan at large. Number one point, which is root causes of John Lester's conflict, as Ada Hunt, former commissioner, Honorable McKeel, has stated clearly, number one is abduction of children by providing Healing. And also the presence of arms and ammunition in the hand of civilians. <coughs> Number two, the disposition of hostilities and the withdrawal of the youth from the people here. It is true that our youth have caught the borderland and they were pursuing the camaraderie and the children abducted by the Murlai youth. <laughs> we accepted that we have come to peace in the Jongle State and we appreciate the person who was delegated to come and talk to the people of Fort County, Honorable Jongle. They had ahead everything. We welcome him. I will say that I will talk to the youth. Only that we don't have connection with the youth because we lack communication. And the roads and the bushes are not safe. See the ambushes in the bush are very rampant. When you send people, people could not reach and we could not reach our people. 
so that you could tell them to come back. But for sure, we have welcomed the peace and we have more peace. The issue of conference, there are so many agreements that have been signed between the communities, but they have not materialized. It has, there, there has been no an everlasting peace that has been signed between the Greater Ball and, and Burley. You know the reason that the Burley are not sincere and not honest. Are not sincere and not honest to what they are signed and what they are saying. That's why you have seen that properties have been happening now and then and they have not stopped. For that matter, since the organization of Australia has been official announced today, they will say, could you please give us one year for us to observe them? Whether that for peace. As you know that already, the Murray youth are not in their village. Why there are still people there, they left and they are around here. They are within the bush here, even around the town. When you go to the river bank, you will find the Murray. The ambushes, the ambushes are going to happen as I speak. Already here in the villages, they are ready in cattle. And even people who are not in the village, and why are they meeting? They are insecure. So for that matter, you have to say you need to observe only for one year and get the ball, whether they are for peace or not. And as the government, we will request the government to talk to the rulers so that the talking, the peace is going to be signed by the youth as you have heard. That the ruling area or territory has not been gathered by the chief and the elders, which is different from ours. We respect our chief and the elders and the government, but the people who are ruling in the ruling land are you. This is the now, is this, agree, this is the reason why I'm saying that the current peace agreement is going to be signed by you and people. Thank you very much. How would like to stop here? And the high level coaching, I will come to John as well. And the Kamanga, you are you do it. You do it. You do it. You do it. I can walk around. 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 You do it. I can walk around.
major attacks, raids recorded during Southern Sudan Autonomous Government 7282. Uh, major attacks uh, and raids during FPLM 83 to 2005. Murley atrocities recorded during the entry period, independence in, in uh, implementation of the CPA 2005-2011. Major atrocities launched by the Murley under the independence of Sudan 2011 up to today, 2020. Uh, the, it, is, it is actually a book, and I will read all over the book, but I will have to mention here the brief background of the conflict between the East County and the Murle. The relationship between Murle and Peach Inca goes back to the 18th century when Murle migrated from Ethiopia. By the way, they were not here. These people, they came from Ethiopia. They came from Ethiopia, Yen Highland of Ethiopia, and settled in the present area. They started to enlarge their territory by seizing more territories from the Dinka and the Ayuak who were inhabiting uh, those areas. The invasion of Murle and evict, uh, uh, Murle evict an eviction of original inhabitants of Yar, Root, and Lok people. Uh, we used to have people who were living in the areas of the Murle, where they are today, and they have completely exterminated the people, those who were there, and we used to have a saying, which says in Dinka, in the Ilpit, that Abitika uh, Ya, Ukaro, and look, those were people living in those areas, and they were completely annihilated by the Murlis. They are no longer there now. Except live few of look, uh, the very people who are there now, but uh, the rest are not there. Uh, during the, the 19th century, 1800, 1800 to 1898, the Murle were able to consolidate the Greek on what was Ayuan and Dinka land through raids and fighting. This was only halted by the condominium rule, because the British were, were more is stronger. The, the system they put down was much more stronger than any other system. So the Murlis were pacified by them. They were not uh, any more active. And we have seen Murlis in our areas in 50s. 1950s, Murlis used to come to our land, simply because of the strong administration of the British system by then. Uh, uh, Condominium rule 1898 to 1955, the rule of law and order prevailed, and all tribal disputes were handled with seriousness and fairness. There was no relative uh, tranquility, I mean, there were relative tranquility and peace among the Fitch and Murle during the rule of the condominium rule. In 19, these people came back in 1963. Uh, the Ayanya came, and uh, when Ayanya came, the Murles made a relationship with, uh, with the Arabs. And the Arabs actually wanted us to not to be stable in any sense, so, so that they prevail over us. Those people gave them arms. And instead of fighting the Anyanya, they tend to be fighting the neighbors. And especially us in Greater Bowl here. All of us know that. So they, 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 that was the time 
they, they, they were called uh, Haras and Wapan. Haras and Wapan, they were fighting. The other tribe, in the state of the Anyanya, and simply because Anyanya was joined by the Dinkas, by the Nuez, by the Anwak, and the, the Murlays refused to join. And they were doing that dead job for that regional government. Uh, 72 to 82, there was a relative peace in that. So the Murlays were not doing that very much. The second war of liberation erupted in 83 under the command of Sultan Ismail Konyi and his deputy chief Aisho Lua of uh, Nikwangale received this chance to revive, to revive the cultures of Ketore, rat selling, killing people and abduction of children. With impunity, the Arab government in Khartoum for the second time recruited Murle militia to fight the LPLA and to uh, unceasingly raid the neighbors, the supporters of the FPLA, FPLM. During the FPLM, 83 to 2000, uh, 2005, there were several incidences of Murle raids killing abduction of children with each land. After the CPA, the former Sudan government militias in South Sudan were all absorbed into SPLA and into other organized forces. However, Murle remained armed, raiding the elevators. I will have to say something here, and I don't know whether the UN representative will be in a position of answering that. People in 2006, the Dinkas here all, and the Nuez were disarmed. All of them were disarmed. But when people were going to disarm Murle, something called U UN interfered, which you are representing. They interfered, and they said that it was going, that it was going to be the inhuman and the human rights atrocities were going to be conducted. When the rest were already disarmed, was it not uh, this is a violation of rules? So I don't know whether the government will be in a position this time if people are going to be disarmed. Will the Murlis will also be subjected to disarmament? Will the UN not talk again against again this? This is the question. Killed and the children abducted. Uh, since uh, 1150 to 1898, about 12,000 people were killed. 1900 to 1956, 600 people were killed, 50 wounded, uh, 50 children abducted, uh, uh, cattle, about 7,000 cattle were raided. Uh, 1956 to 72, 11,000 people were killed. 1,000 uh, people were wounded. 3,000 heads of cattle were raided. 18,000 cattle taken. Uh, 1984 uh, to 2005, 19,000 people killed. Can you imagine this? Uh, 2006 to 2011, 9,000 were killed. 2011 to 20, 8,000 people were killed, and the rest were like that. Let me come to the brief time of this. And uh, this is 2011, 150 people were killed. Uh, 60 people, 67 people were wounded. Uh, uh, children abducted were 10. If you go down to 12, 245. The, the total number here until this year is 1,692. 
can you imagine this, where, where two people live like this? And I would have, there is nothing in, in greater poor here, there is nothing good. If you go for, 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 for cutting grass, for touching their houses, you are killed. If you go for cutting wood, you are killed. If you go for farming in your farm, you are killed. If you go for fishing, you are killed. You go under. You go after the cattle, you are killed. And the worst part of it, the worst of all, is that when you are sleeping in your house, when you are sleeping in your house, not doing any activity, you are also killed. How do we live in this? What can we do in this? That is the answer to be. Then the last thing, uh, not to differ with you, the last is that if peace is, uh, we, we are looking after the peace and the peace is supposed to be there, but it has been done for quite a long time and there are like 19, as we showed said it before, conferences conducted. Even by the most senior people in the, in the country, the president, the two vice presidents, you are going to be the vice president number three. <laughs> how, how, what best system will you apply after this? So that those people are hungry. It's something which I cannot hear. The, 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 the worst part of somebody was, material one, was talking of four conferences. No, there are no four conferences to be, to be held so that we have peace with the Murlis. The only group among the Murlis that you are supposed to do peace with them are the youth. Are only the youth. So you are of the country. And I thank you very much here. Yeah. I've got to be brief. One, if we really need peace, in South Sudan, I request uh, the high level committee to, to have to consult the two parties to sign the cessation of hostility in people and hostility area, not in Juba, not in Bor Town. That's number one. <laughs> if we are here to hear peace or the, the lasting peace in, in Jongle State and people in this area, I also request the same high-level committee to establish peace center between Bor and Jongle State in especially in Kadia. And it should be monitored by universe. Thirdly, I also request the government to deploy at least one plane to monitor the activities of Murli and people and government said. Fourthly, I request the high level committee to investigate who is really behind Murli community since the independent update. And I have some suggestions for the lasting peace in John Lancet and, and people in certain area. One, we have to compensate the life loss during an attack according to legal constable law by paying 51 cows by an identified person. Or if the government fails to identify of the particular community, then the government of that particular area have to pay the compensation. Another one is the issue of a uh, wounded person. If it happened, the attackers uh, wounded a person, they have also to, to compensate with 25 cows followed by that. Then lastly but not least, whoever abducts a children or a child or a little number of people should be jailed for 14 years and children and and the uh, couple of 
should be taken back to the right school fund. If we really need the lasting fees, not the fees on the paper. I also ask the government, I ask the question, why is it difficult for the government of the Republic of South Sudan to discipline Murle community, seeing they are rising the Afanal regions and part of Yucatola region for many years? I also uh, request, or I beg the government of the Republic of South Sudan, led by His Excellency Salva Kiri Mayani, to console the government of Uganda, of the Republic of Uganda, led by uh, President Museveni, on how did they manage to discipline for Mayong in Uganda. <laughs> then, last but not least, this is a meeting will take to the Burle community. As we all know, there is no single community in this world which, of which majority of our members have no true biological father and biological mother like Burle is one for that. As for this one, I would like to stop here. Thank you.
and a large pasture. But today, a thousand of lawless youth use it as a base for, for where they wait, it is a welfare and pass of a trafficking, raping cattle, and abducted children and women. Point two, which is the last. The Ukraine is the thing. The government will engender the permanent peace among the board, being and where, and law, and all the rest of the people here, and all and Mandari, and the rest of things so forth. The one hand and the rural community on the other, if it is only if it can be devoted to the eastern plain, the same that as it is. At one, and in the same time, the buffer zone and the melting pot, all that the government needs to achieve is this Roman one. Make the two communities of Gadian, which occupy by the central location within the eastern plain, the search for the development of the army as a means of the creation of buffer zone and for the construction of the school cattle raising market, cattle, cattle trade market, the modern farming, a dairy and ranching, a project of activity, including, uh, uh, including the condition of the melting pot, Roman two, which is the last, construction as a standard network of the road to connect Gadian to go before a cover UI and a youth and so forth, making everything possible for the government to enforce the rule of law for fight the basic services, assisting communities vulnerable to impact all the poverty insecurity displacement for food security and breakdown of disease and sufficient food. ตรงกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชังกระชัง